Hello kindergarten, I'm going to read you another story about Ben plants a butterfly garden and I've got Ben with me here today to help. Let's see how he does it. Everything was neat and tidy in Ben's garden except for one sunny corner. How can I make this corner pretty? asked Ben. I've got an idea, said the ladybird. You can grow some flowers, said Worm. And you can grow some butterflies too, said Ladybird. I like butterflies and I like flowers too, said Ben. They began clearing away the nettles. Leave some of the nettles, said Worm. Your butterfly will be born here. I've got some nettles here. Mine have got flowers on them. They're not too stingy but caterpillars love them. Look under this nettle's leaf, said Ladybird. So Ben saw some tiny eggs. They don't look like butterflies to me, he said. They're the eggs of the butterflies. Don't worry, said Ladybird. They will turn into beautiful butterflies. Now you must plant some flowers so the butterflies will like to stay here, said Worm. Ben bought some special seeds so that he could have a butterfly garden all of his very own. He dug a flower bed and raked it and he planted the seeds and gave them some water. You see the tiny seeds? We've been doing that. And there's him watering. About one week later, that's seven days, Ben saw the first little shoots sticking up through the earth. My flowers are growing, he said, but what about my butterflies? Ben went to look at the eggs on the nettles, but instead of eggs, he found lots of small, hungry caterpillars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen caterpillars. They don't look like butterflies to me, said Ben. Trust me, said Ladybird, they will turn into butterflies. But first they have to eat the leaves and grow into big, fat caterpillars. The caterpillars ate the leaves and they got bigger and fatter and bigger and fatter until they were huge like our friend here. Very big and very fat. Munch, munch. The days were hot and long and the flowers in Ben's garden started to bloom. Lots of bees came to visit them, but they were no butterflies and the caterpillars had disappeared. I like those greedy little caterpillars, said Ben. Where have they gone? Come and have a look behind the leaves, said Ladybird. You are going to have your butterflies very soon. That doesn't look like a butterfly to me, said Ben. Kindergarten, we know what that is, don't we? It's a cocoon. Inside there is a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. He stays there for two weeks. Ben watched the caterpillars turning carefully into butterflies. Here are the cocoons. And the new butterfly started to come out. The butterfly was ready to fly off straight to its favourite flowers. And before Ben knew it, lots of butterflies were flying in his garden. All over the flowers. <gasps> they do look like butterflies, said Ben, and they love the flowers I've planted for them. Beautiful, beautiful butterflies. I had a go at making a butterfly. I know some of you have too. Can you see my matches? The pattern this side matches the pattern. The other side, that's called symmetrical. It's symmetrical. All butterflies match.
Well, Ben, do you think kindergarten liked that story? Oh, good. <laughs>